Um, chat, let me just show you this. I, flats, I recently discovered your channel. I've been, go been thoroughly enjoying what I'm seeing. I'm really hoping to help me out. I've had friends dive apply plat, review my VODs, and they're too nice to, to tell me my big no-nos. I know I have some issues. Biggest red flag of all. Namely, that I don't damage boost as much as I should. Positioning, general movement, reaction time, etc. That's like Mercy's whole kit. Because I'm really, really new to the game and I have had friends carry. Carry. In the game, I felt like I did okay here. My team and I had some really good communication here and I'd really like to know how I can improve. Was there anything more I could have done for my team? Looking forward to a full rest, thank you. So you've had friends carry. Are you friends with boulders? Or anchors? Oh my god, there's no way. You really do have bad friends. How does nobody tell you this is like the worst skin to run? This is disgusting. Dude, this this is not the not the fucking smelly lizard skin. Oh my god, dude. I swear to God, if you melee the ground all game after this last one, I might genuinely blow a gasket. <laughs> is this gonna be the damage boost to Junkrat? Uh oh. Oh man, this is this is actually gonna be the full. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna say this now. Okay, I'm gonna say this now as a note for later. Please don't heal your invisible Sombra at any point this game while they're running invisible. That is literally a giant fucking beam that goes, Hey! 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 There's a Sombra at the end of this! You should probably shoot it! Okay, your Winston's dying. Oh, your Winston's dying. Mostly, your Ana should be dealing with that. But this is bronze, I understand. Okay. So instead of healing, nothing. This should probably be damage for something. We're just kind of generally lost here. So... This is, uh, again, we're already falling victim to the original Overwatch problem, which is, like, people have told you how to play the game for the last six years, and genuinely, that's not actually how you play the game. Um, so it's like you're trying to stay super grouped as a team. Uh, so... Okay, this isn't 600 SR. You're standing in the... Dude, you're standing in the middle of fucking Narnia, just standing there. Like, not even menacingly. Standing still resing. You can still move when you res, like, a little bit. Try to use some cover, try to stand behind the cart. Something because like that's that's anywhere above like I don't know if people have their monitors on you're probably gonna get shot at I mean their mercy just did the same thing so I don't honestly maybe I'm just full of shit A belt nice good stuff maybe some damage boost they're full HP maybe some damage boost maybe some glock glock pull out the glock uh, what is their diva doing? Do you guys see that? Like, okay, there's just Sombra's invisible. Um, I understand they were low HP, but I'll let that one slide. Their diva's chasing. Okay, not bad. Running away. Cool. W, running away. This is good. This is good. Switch. So, so I've always. So here's here's the golden rule for supports, and you'll see really really good players do this. Uh, number one, always help your other support. Always. Like, if someone's dying and your other support's about to die, always help them first. Because if you help them, then they can help you help other people. Two, which is part one, explained further, is always prioritize your own safety over saving someone else. Even with, like, on a flight, right? Like, when you get on a flight and, like, let's say something happens and the masks drop down, they always tell you to put the mask on yourself first before you help somebody else. Because if you don't help yourself first, you can't help anybody else. Same thing happens in Overwatch. That if you try to help a teammate who's way out of position, and you put yourself into a bad position to try to save them, well, then they die, and you die, and everyone dies. Instead of being able to stay alive and help everybody else, and hope that they can make it back on their own. Like, their Winston, their Winston just walked into them. Like, what are you going to do about that? Like, there's nothing you're going to do about that. I guess you're going to res them, which is fine. That's a good res, but uh, please watch for the bomb. Thank you. I don't know how your somber died, but good lord. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they I don't think you understood how close to fucking death we're standing right now. This is death range. That was death. You would have never pulled out that blaster in time. You would not have been able to kill them. Also, I'm not gonna lie. 
I have to just say, I love this moment of oh, right here, like, like oh, I lived. Okay, I'm good. Oh, they, 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 you know, that's what they're doing. They're opening the comms wheel. They're opening the comms wheel. Hold up. Wait for it. You're welcome. My thanks. Thank you. Wait, you said? Did you say you're welcome first? Oh no, you said thank. You. They all, they sat there to open the comms wheel, say thank you for saving them. Yo, this reminds me of that Hanzo. That's kind of that was kind of sweet. Um, um, did you just stop functioning? What what just happened? Did your controller die? You're, wait, you're on a mouse and keyboard. How, what? Bro, I'm confused. I don't know if we're looking for more stuff there, but... Uh, okay, instantly pops Valk. Don't know if that was the right call, but you did it anyways. Um, damage boost? Damage boost? Look at their mercy! Go clack their mercy! Go clack their mercy! There's... Dude, listen. Okay, listen. All the, the good Mercy players I've ever seen, they're just like little evil bastards. They're all evil little shits. And they all just constantly want to have a, a, a moment in the sun where they can finally be glocking people and, 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 and have their moment to shine and pull out the blaster and get a kill. They love to do it. Valk, Valk killing widows is like a, a Mercy's wet dream. Like, you hundred, like, Mercy's get off to like. Being able to pop Valk, seeing a widow on the high ground, then whoosh, boom, 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 with their unlimited ammo fucking hitbox that's like the size of small 18 wheelers. Like, dude, like you, you can't miss if you fucking tried. This is a perfect opportunity. Their mercy's literally standing still here. Pull out the fucking Glock and Glock her ass, dude. Put, send her back to the next dimension. Only in situations like that, though, like where like they're standing still AFK, you have high ground because you're in Valk, like something like that. Like, it's such a perfect opportunity to like, you know, look for it. So quick backstory: started oh. playing in June of this year. Have not looked up any guides myself, which I've been trying to find good advice. Damage boosting is my biggest thing I need to fix because That's I don't true. usually trust my support, and my decision making is actually trash. Confidence That's true. Is an issue. Yeah, no, hundred percent. I would say I would say your biggest issues are you don't know how to move. You have the mechanical skill of like a toddler. Um, you're kind of like just endlessly hopping around and like not really sure what to do next. Um, the de decision making is definitely not great because you're just standing with your tanks and just hoping not to die. Um, if you play against anyone that actually plays good spam or that actually can kind of click, you're basically standing still in front of your team. So yeah, uh, not wrong. Um, can definitely tell, but like, like, look where you're you're at. You're standing in, in the middle of the cart by yourself, like just AFK. You know what I mean? Like, like, why did you just valve that? I'm confused. Like. Dude, if you're at least, if you at least fuck up a Valk, just go and be Battle Mercy. There's, you're not doing anything right now. You're not, like, they're all full HP. You, you're just dying on car at full HP. Healing full HP targets, you know? Like, there's genuinely nothing here you could do. Now you're healing the Winston. That's good. Heal the Winston because the Winston needs healing. Now heal the Sombra. Um, well, the, Good job letting go of the Sombra once you turn the corner, but like faster, 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 faster. You're also very into healing this D.Va. I don't know if you guys do out together or what, but you heal the D.Va more than anybody else, which is quite confusing because the D.Va is actually one of the characters on this team that can probably be the most self-sufficient. Um, I'm so confused on what's happening here. You're just like watching your team just go in. Listen, okay, okay, sorry. I gotta say it. You're playing Overwatch. You don't have to be sitting on the cart watching your team die. It is way better to get kills and actually fucking do things and help your team than to sit here and AFK on the cart. You already have two people, but I have three. There's gonna be three people here in a second sitting here on this cart and you're just letting your team die because you don't want to walk over there. Dude. Let the cart go. The cart, the cart is not that fucking important. All that's that's why you always see the fucking absolute bronze to plat shitters in like Overwatch League chat that are like, 
C9! C9! It's like, dude, like, dude, there's like millions of other things that are happening at the same time that they're trying to fucking account for all at once because touching the cart and pushing the point is genuinely so fucking low on the list, it's not even funny. The fact that it's the game mode is only to keep the game moving forward. That's it. Also, your, your pop Valky just completely lost your whole team. But I, you, I think you get Valk and immediately use it. You don't have to do that. You don't have to use your ult the second you get it. You might see like high level players use their ult pretty quickly a lot of times, unless there's a combo coming up. That's mostly because the tempo of the ult is so fast. Like you need them to win fights or to flip fights, like, and their fights are still winnable. Or they're coming online. Like the ult economy is so important. But you're AF. You're literally AFK. <clears throat> Okay, I'm about to say something that's maybe very controversial, and it's going to make, make some people angry. The reason why I think many of the Overwatch community look down on support players, especially, like, when they were complaining about, like, uh, it in Overwatch 2 not being as strong. Like, remember when Overwatch 2 sports came out, and everyone was like, oh my god, support's terrible, nobody wants to play it. Dude, the, the reason being is because there's support players that genuinely believe that this is the support experience, and you should be able to do this and play the video game. You're playing a competitive shooter, and you think that you can stand still in the middle of team fights and hold your fucking auto aim beam and stand around. That's not the game. That's why. That's why you get those shitters who say like Mercy's an easy character, and you know, uh, you know, like the character's not fun, and it's also like a terrible character, and it's too easy. And you get these people that like that inherently shit on the character because they genuinely see something like this and then they believe that that's how all the players is. No, that's not how it's actually supposed to be played. It's actually a very complicated character and there's a lot of intricacies that go into it and all of the supports have those. That's why people want people watching people like ML7 that are very, very mechanically skilled, very, very smart. But like this right here is not even video game gameplay. You're just standing there AFK. There's a million things you can be doing and standing there on the cart is basically in last fucking place because you're just being a literal robot. You know in Push, how there's a robot now? That is what we're doing here. Now, in high level play, damage boosting a Winston just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but that's because the DPS are shooting things. If your Junkrat's AFK not doing anything at all, and your Winston's the only per- So, so, so he's- so, see who's going in, right? The Winston is the only person on your team that's playing aggressive. Maybe go damage boost the Winston. You don't always have to follow the rules of high level play in low level play. Most high level players don't play the same way in low ranks. We can out mechanics pretty much the entire elo all the way up to like diamond. And then even into diamond, then you start using a little bit of game sense, but you can still muscle your way into masters pretty fucking easily if it's actually your main role. That's why every unranked GM is so interesting for people because they want to see how they play, but you'll not really learn a whole lot because they're just going to fucking bully their way through the ranks anyways. So instead of your Winston getting much help there, we kind of just AFK on the cart and then heal the Somber who comes back, leave it to somebody else. It's like, if I talked to this in the other one, which, I mean, they're going to be separate, so I mean, it's a little bit tougher, but it's like the community has been like low-key gaslit for the last few years into like always believing that you like, you need to kill the supports, shoot the supports first, then kill the squishies, then shoot the tanks always, you know, damage boost. There's, there's so many other factors. By the way, that's a visor. You might want to come down a little bit. <sighs> the reason you haven't died yet or died that much or at all is because not because of your play style being good, but genuinely because you're in the lowest rank of the game. Period. People can't fucking shoot. You're, you're facing toddlers, basically. And this is the perfect example of, oh shit, they now have a way to fix their aim with an ultimate, but your positioning is so bad, you're just holding spacebar aimlessly, just trying to touch the skybox, that you're gonna get punished for it. And you don't realize you're gonna get punished for it, even though you hear the very obvious, have you in my sights, and there's like a f solid three seconds in between where you can try to go hide, but don't react because you're not used to having threats. You know? Like, the only threats you guys are used to are Junkrat traps and random spam. And it's like, that's not how Overwatch is actually played. But yeah, um, like, it's genuinely, look what's happening. Look what's happening over here. Like, it's just fucking chaos. Like, you're playing Sombra Junk in Bronze. Like, your Sombra's gonna be basically useless, because nobody knows how to combo with it. Good res on the, on the Moira. That's, that's correct. Um... 
like, dude, go damage boost your Winston. Go damage boost your D.Va. Look where your D.Va is. Your D.Va just held W. Like, your D.Va literally just went into their team. This is a perfect opportunity to go in with them. Actually, staying with the Junkrat's not that bad either, honestly. I can kind of give you that. I thought that was the enemy. I thought that was an enemy D.Va bomb. I was going to go, oh my god. Yeah, there's a Reinhardt. You know the Reinhardt? You know why Reinhardt's so good in the lower ranks? He doesn't have to aim very hard. You know where you're standing? The death zone. You also just heard a visor pop off. You know what a visor popping off and you standing in front of a Reinhardt means? It means death is coming. You crouched behind the cart? I'm actually proud of you. I'm actually proud of you. You crouched behind the cart. That was actually so smart. There you go. That's the first time you've done something to keep yourself alive. Now, you're also still standing next to a Reinhardt who will easily kill you if he so chooses. However, though, this is not gameplay. This is not gameplay. Whoever taught you this is not gameplay. This is dog shit. This is legitimately go play fucking solitaire. Like, you're, you have not moved from this one spot for the last 10 seconds. Hold on, it's even further back. Where'd you get on it? Say, so this was the last good thing. Please and then you, stop these. you went back they on your same spot, me. right? Also, you're wonderful. You're back on the cart Stay at excellent, 848. Friend. You're standing on the cart like you're protecting like your wine reserve, like the barrels on the back. Standing there, AFK. Okay, you hopped off for a sec. There you go. Then hop, got right back on. Damage was the Winston, maybe? I don't know. Like anything. Damage was the deep, baby diva isn't like terrible either, I guess. But like, there's other things you could be doing. This shit is just not good gameplay, though. Wait, what just happened to the slam? Wait, what? Oh, he slammed your whole team. Oh, you know what? He actually didn't slam you because you're standing in the middle of the cart. I mean, you should be dead. Like, this is not you making a good play. This is just them sucking, like, genuinely. Like, I don't understand why you're holding your nuts so close to this, this cart. You can get further away from it. Like, you don't have to, like... You do not have to plant your ass cheeks in the bed of the truck. Like, it's it's not gonna run away. It's not gonna run away, I promise. Like, this Ryan, if he turns his hammer towards you at any time... Like, I'm, I honestly, I don't know if I should be impressed at this point that their Ryan has not swung at you yet. Their Ryan genuinely is like... He's like the, like the, the stupid predator. You know, like, the Predator, like, it reacts to movement and, like, smell and shit. This is, like, I don't know. If the Predator got hit by, like, ten buses and then had to go be the Predator. It's just, like, it's like he's got, like, ten concussions. Like, like, this is unbelievable. It's like playing Phasmophobia and watching all your friends die. Dude, like, where, where he's gone now. Like, I'm so confused. Like, the fact that you're even alive is an unbelievable thing to me. <laughs> but that doesn't make what you're doing good. Like, this is terrible. You're useless. Like, I, just... R okay, now you're dead. Now you're dead, though. Now you're dead. Like, it should not have taken... Dude, where did we start this? It was like 848? 848 is when you pla planted your ass cheeks in the bed of this truck. You didn't move. I'm not joking. In a competitive shooter... A competitor... Competitive? FPS shooter... You did not move from the place you were standing in the middle of a fight for over two... Actually, was it two minutes? It was 8.48. Okay, it was over a minute. Like a minute and 10 seconds. That is mind-boggling. Okay, so you're trying to stand on high ground here? Okay, so what's the objective with standing on high ground here? Um, to hope they can't shoot you? But like... If it's anywhere outside of, like, I don't know, in bottom 500, uh, no, why is no one going to walk in at spawn and just immediately start shooting you? I don't know. Damage boost, maybe? Like, you're just healing full health targets. Like, Mercy, Mercy can only do so many things, and, like, her greatest strength is not dying. The best Mercy players I've ever seen are all the players that are unfucking killable. So you've already accomplished that by standing still, and I don't, I don't have other words for it. Uh, but the part of not dying is to keep their teammates alive. So it's fine to do healing, but like healing full HP targets for long periods of time isn't gonna do shit. It's the skin reptilian camouflage. No, it's probably nobody wants to touch this the fucking skin, dude. It's fucking slimy and smelly, and you're also like, 
I understand you're trying to heal this 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 Orisa, but like the amount of times you stand in front of your own teammates, like who are getting shot at, is like you you're just gonna die, you know? Like luckily they also have tunnel vision, but so kind of what I was saying before. Uh, Ryan is one of the few characters, and which is why he's so good in bronze, and everyone loves him in bronze, is because you don't have to actually really aim with him. You just have to move the camera to where the hammer swings. So when you get close to him, he's gonna fuck your ass up. Because you don't have any movement skills. You have no positioning, no awareness of death. Pop Valk on cooldown. We're not damage boosting. We're healing full health teammates. So I'm just like, I've, it's very rare that you have to say to someone like, what am I doing wrong? Everything. Immediately pop Valk, almost just, oh my, they didn't get booped? Okay. I'm gonna get a little triggered. You won. Almost flew into that Rhine. Who's pinning. No awareness of this Rhine pinning at you. Lucio boops him, so you actually got saved. Because your ass is fucking dead right here. Two. You come down to your team and get shattered. You have a literal ability to fly. You have, an, you have an ultimate up that you can fly through the fucking sky. You got shattered. No shot. If it works, it works, I guess. I've never seen a Junkrat more unbothered in my whole life. So he starts, he's getting shot by the Sombra. Pops his tire. It dies. Still getting shot at. Leaves. That's what I mean, though, by, like, your shit you're doing would not get away. You wouldn't even be alive in any rank above this. Like, even even the other half of bronze you wouldn't be alive in. Like, so the fact that even things you might think work are working, that's not how it actually works. Like, it's... Like, genuinely need a complete ground-up rethinking of how Overwatch is played. I don't know if you have teammates that are telling you, like, oh, you're doing good, or, oh, you're doing bad, like, they're, li like, if they, if they say you're doing good, they're lying to you. If they say you're doing bad, they're probably also lying to you, because, not because they're saying they're, you know, you're doing bad, they're like, oh, heal me more, but mostly because they're just fucking dumb. Like, there's probably nobody that's told you anything yet that's been helpful. I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. Another visor. You should be scared of this visor because it will kill you. Yeah, they actually didn't walk in with it, so that's fine. So, like... Why is the Arissa? Remember we talked about Ryan? Ryan gave up. The Ryan gave up. Like, I'm just, man, I don't even know what to say at this point. We're just gonna watch the stupidity. Like, there's nothing else to really say. This is just stupid. <laughs> like, like, this is genuinely just fucking stupid at this point. Like, there, Ryan just gave up when you were 5 HP and like 2 feet away. It's like, dude, you can't be bothered to do it, you know? Too many targets to res, gets panics, doesn't know to run, which one to res. You're running Arissa. Arissa fucking uh, uh, Arissa Diva Lucio Mercy heals like uh, dude all, all everything I know about Overwatch has been thrown out the window in this game. Like there's actually not many things I could probably apply to this game. There was just a double EMP and then nobody died. Like what? A baby diva died finally. So there's I think I think their Sigma just missed. He actually got the diva at the end, but man, he he was struggling there for a sec. You know what? 
This is, I guess, the rank that matters target priority. is like, go kill the Mercy, go kill the supports first. Like, this is the rank that it matters in. Because they actually don't understand how to do that at all in this rank. And it's not like they can, they have to extend for it. You're, like, standing in their team. So, like, the old rhetorics of, like, oh, kill the supports first, then the squishies, then the tanks. That genuinely doesn't really, like, apply that, like, hard rule. Doesn't apply anymore. Except in bottom 500. I've now changed my opinion. Wow. This fight's still fucking going. This is why you always see, I think in my opinion, um, like especially like bronze through, bronze through like low plat, high gold, players will flex their uh, limbs or damage numbers to be like, dude, I finished this game with 65 of limbs and 30,000 damage. I can't do more. Well, you got that much <laughs> limbs and damage because everyone just stands there and shoots at each other for minutes on end. There's not team fights. There's just a literal war, you know? Also, their Ryan has now decided I'm going to actually get aggressive here. And he gave up. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I was actually proud of their Ryan there for a second, and then he kind of bitched out. You know what? I respect the Glock coming out. That was probably not the best time for it, but like it wasn't terrible either. I respect it. That's a visor! Let me say this. Never mind, everything from the top down needs to be completely reworked. Um, but I also think, like, you said you were, like, somewhat new to Overwatch. I just don't think you have enough experience yet. You're going to have to play so much Overwatch. Like, like genuinely, there's nothing I'm going to tell you that's going to make you all of a sudden better, like, by tomorrow. It's not going to happen. Like, because you are you don't even understand ultimate threats. Like, like, when I hear a tire pop off, I immediately start backing up into a corner, looking up, looking around, like, looking to see, like, okay, which direction is it coming in from? What's the best way for me to survive? Is there teammates that are around me? Do I need to... Or who can I prioritize? Like, you know, like, like there's a million things that I prioritize when I hear those ultimates pop or whatnot. You don't react, which is like, you know, some people don't like, you know, understand like how they defend against it, but they'll at least understand. Okay, this scary thing is coming. You don't have that fear yet. So, I, I honestly, I think the biggest thing is like, you need more hours. Period. Like. I don't even think we can even talk about what needs to be better. Also, Ryan is inherently just so good in bronze because you don't have to worry about aiming. You can just sit there and swing, and you do so much damage. Valk got a spawn. I actually kind of like the Valk got a spawn. Uh-oh. 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 Round two. No... You're probably dead there anyway, so it doesn't matter too, too much. Oh, man. So, what did we learn here today? Uh, you need more practice period, realistically. Uh, you need a complete re-understanding of how to play Overwatch, and if you feel like you're playing the game correctly by standing still for long periods of time, you are genuinely have no clue what you're doing. So, that's the best I can say. <laughs>